here's a video recording for exam two from DSP problem five. Okay, in problem five, you're given a transfer function, and I already broke this out for you as a partial fraction expansion. Had it been not broken out, you would have completed the partial fraction expansion, uh, and you know I'm assuming you know how to do that. Okay, so you're you're given that you know this transfer function. And you're also given that it's Bebo. All right, so what does that mean for us? What that means for us is that the unit circle, you know, here's 0.5 right here, and here's 3 right here. The unit circle is in here, and the unit circle is contained in the region of convergence. All right, because it's contained in there, this is the only way we could draw the region of convergence, where we had the pole at 0.5. We know there's a circle generated by that pole. The question is, do, does the region of convergence look like a disk or does it radiate outward? Okay, and so because it's um, needing to contain the unit circle, you know, the logic dictates that this has to radiate outward from 0.5. Okay, similarly, we know taking pole location at, at minus 3, you know, the pole's actually over here. We know that makes a circle, and the question is, where is the region of convergence? Well, to grab, you know, to pick up the unit circle, we would have to have a disk in this case. So if we intersect the disk with a shape that radiates out, we get this donut. This is the region of convergence for this stable transfer function. Okay, and from that we know that if it's a causal response then the region of convergence emanates out. So that's the part that emanates out from 0.5. So the causal part is associated with the pole at 0.5. And the corresponding anti-causal part is the pole associated at 3. So from there, we, we know the Z-transform pins down the response. You know, once you have the region of convergence, that tells you whether it's a causal response or a non-causal response. So we know the 0.5 pole is causal, so we get this expression, and we know the uh, pole at minus 3 is anti-causal, so we get this expression. All right, so there you have it, the solution to problem 5.